So that graduates to you actually getting more and more heroin yourself on your own as opposed to just robbing drug dealers? Yeah, uh, my career was kind of interrupted. I started saving money and I stopped robbing drug dealers and became a drug dealer myself at the age of like 16. And what happened in uh, I ended up getting a manslaughter charge and went away, uh, I think it was 71, early 70s. And I was gone for like 10 and a half years. What exactly was the situation that got you the manslaughter charge? It was the, it was uh, involving uh, drugs. It was involving drugs. It was a transaction that went bad. And the guy went for a gun, you know, and I had a gun, you know, you know. He ended up uh, dead, you know. I was 17 at the time. He was uh, about the same age I was. How did it feel, 17 years old, to to have a dead body in front of you and knowing that, okay, you know, the worst, you know, I might get life in prison. I, I, I don't know if there was a death penalty at one point. You know, do you go on the run? What exactly do you do as these thoughts are going through your head? I went on the run for maybe a month. Went on a run. I didn't think about, I would think about getting away, you know. At that age, you don't think about, you don't think about the consequences too much you know, or what you did. Okay. So eventually you get caught and they give you 11 years. True. Yeah. Now, actually, while you're locked actually up. Actually, they gave me five years. I want to back up a little. They gave me five years for manslaughter. Ah, okay. So where did the other six years come from? While I was in, I did 11 years. While I was in, I got, uh, let me see, uh, 10 years for uh, stabbing another prisoner. Then I got three years for stabbing a lieutenant at Protection Institution. 